I'm losing my job and currently I'm going through the job hunting process. In this video, I'm going to share what are the job portals I'm using, what are the tactics I'm using to find my new job. Keep watching for more details. Hello guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your host Jess Garak with another useful and important video. In this video, I'm going to talk about my job hunting. Obviously, it's quite easy when I talk about to someone else that how to find a job and these are so and so sort of platforms there, the portals they apply there. It's a completely different scenario when you go through yourself. So in this video, I'm going to share my experience because I'm going through the same phase, looking for a new job. Uh, my contract is coming to an end and just give you the perspective uh, how I do search and how the response is coming along. Obviously, we are still in the COVID sort of yeah, era here and uh, how the job market looks like, how the response I'm getting and what are the job portals I'm using and uh, the back end of this video, I'm just going to give you some sort of yeah, uh, information of what is the response from the job market from the employer. So that will give you some sort of information and insight into the construction industry, especially for the civil engineers. So make sure you watch till the end and I'm sure that's going to help you those as well. They are currently looking or going through the same phase as myself. Uh, so make sure you watch till the end and I'm sure that's going to be beneficial for yourselves as well. So let's crack on with this video. So before I start into the details, obviously I wanted to just make you aware uh, what my current situation is obviously my situation might be different than yours so that's that's where uh, you may find it easy to find a job than myself so that's currently i'm on my contract base and uh, my current contract coming to an end in a couple of weeks time uh, obviously due to the new legislation coming in force by the start of april 2021 lots of contracting or the employer they are reluctant to employ yeah, the, the contractors and that's that's the reason basically majority of the contractors uh, they will need to move or somehow yeah, uh, adjust themselves in a different sort of scenario whether umbrella company or permanent base or if you are a contractor you know what I mean uh, so you need to adjust yourself in a different scenario is uh, coming through yeah I'm, I'm going through the same phase as yourselves uh, but obviously if you are uh, looking for a permanent job, that's a completely different ball game uh, But I will, I will go through the what the scenario is about the jobs actually whether jobs are there at all or no It's, it's completely a blank market. So uh, my scenario is is a contractor and I'm looking for a contract job Which is outside the IR35. I don't want to go into the IR35, but this is the new legislation uh, and that's the sort of I'm trying to avoid that legislation if I can and which is very hard I mean to uh, to avoid and that's the spur I, I mentioned that the client the employer they are reluctant to employ anything outside anyone outside the IR35 all the risk lies with the client and the employer and I have restricted myself to that search only contracting job outside the IR35 and my job search is relevant to construction CRE or civil design CRE. So CRE means contractor responsible engineer, someone who is responsible or leading the design or the construction. So obviously I'm a civil engineer, so I'm looking just that specific role. So whether a design, civil design CRE or construction civil CRE. So these are the two job searching I'm doing and also in terms of the contract so i'm only looking for contract outside the ir35 so i have limited myself quite extensively there again yeah on the uh, sort of location wise as well i have tied myself towards yeah southwest london and birmingham that's that's something i can manage from where i live so i have restricted myself in that scenario as well so considering all these restrictions uh, that's why i'm struggling so this is my scenario uh, your scenario will be completely different than mine and you may get a yeah, different sort of constraints or different sort of yeah, response from the employer or from the recruitment agencies but i'm going through what i'm going through so far so, so i've started my search a couple of weeks ago the first stage 
I've gone through to update my CV. Obviously, I haven't updated for a couple of uh, years now. So I, I, I wanted to make sure my contact details, everything are there, my relevant experiences all there. Um, and uh, I've updated my CV, I've uploaded and uh, updated my profile on the LinkedIn. I have also uploaded uh, a short video about yeah this job searching, job hunting on the LinkedIn here as well. Uh, some of you might have seen it already, but yeah, this is what, what I've uh, uploaded on the LinkedIn. Let's watch this first. Hello everyone, my name is Jess Kedek. I'm a chartered civil engineer with over 16 years of experience in the railway industry in the UK. My existing contract coming to an end by end of March 2021 and I'm looking for a new contract thereafter. I have a blend of experience from civil design manager to civil design CRE to civil construction CRE and I'm looking to fulfill similar roles in my future endeavors and contracts. For more details about my experience, please review my LinkedIn profile. You can reach out to me via phone or via my email address details at the back end of this video finally thank you very much for your time i hope to speak to you soon if i'm honest i didn't have much luck with the linkedin sort of yeah this short video uh in a couple of weeks time there will hardly any 300 to 400 views there uh, uh, the job portals I'm currently using are the CV library, uh, totaljobs.com, uh, the uh, indeed.com, uh, railwaypeople.com. These are the four platforms currently I'm using and I ensured that I have uploaded the latest uh, my CV there. The contact details are updated there. And once you have updated the, the, your profile, which I have done already and it's just a matter of yeah, a couple of clicks there to apply for a job. Uh, again, yeah, I, as I said earlier, I have restricted in terms of my job searching as well. I, I make sure that I read the description of what the client wants. Uh, so I need to tell her my experience on the, on the description there and I only apply for a limited number of yeah, vacancies there. So up till now in two weeks time, uh, I have applied about five jobs, uh, which is uh, next to nothing, I would say. Uh, but obviously, I said I have limited myself. I don't want to do a blanket application there. I, I don't want to apply to everything there. I don't want to waste my time and the client time. If I'm not interested in something, I shouldn't go for that. But that might not be the case for yourself if you're going for the permanent job. There's lots of options available there, and I'm sure you, you can apply five to ten jobs on a daily or in even an hour there if you're interested there uh, but for myself i only applied five jobs in two weeks time and in terms of the response so currently i'm receiving calls from the recruitment agencies so i would say one call per day in, in a sense yeah i've received so far about 10 ish sort of old calls from from the recruitment agencies um, obviously this is the currently the phase I'm going through so the first phase would be I will receive calls from them they will set up a meeting or the interview with the ultimate client and that's where it goes to the next stage the interview stage so currently I'm going through that phase in a couple of weeks time I mean since, since uh, I've started searching the hunting so that's that's currently in progress so I have quite quite positive responses obviously from the recruitment agency so far they, they look at my cv there and they're forwarding to their their ultimate client there and there will be a job interview process from there on uh, but uh, obviously if, if i'm honest uh, i don't see quite a speedy process there and i can see yeah the uh, covid implications are certainly there uh, but the best part of covid uh, for certain is that we can still work from home so even if i apply somewhere uh, around the country, I, I can still yeah, manage to work from home and I can provide the service from there. So that's the positive from the COVID, but apart, apart from there, uh, I, would, I, would, I would wish actually a bit more speedy sort of process from the recruitment agency, from the client, uh, considering my experience has been there yeah, for quite some time in the industry. So I wanted a bit more speedy sort of process there, but still it's been only a couple of weeks done and as I said, uh, it's only hardly been about 10 sort of ish calls from the recruitment agencies and it's still going through that phases obviously i'll keep you updated posted for more sort of yeah uh, more, more sort of advancement in this sort of regime if i get interview how that goes every what of the clients are there uh, but as i said i've restricted 
quite stringently mass out there in terms of the location, in terms of the job search, in, in terms of the application, in terms of the contract. So there's so much contraction there and that's the reason why uh, I'm not getting the response what I wished for. Uh, but obviously if your scenario is different, like if you're looking for permanent jobs and you're uh, relaxed about yeah, the different sort of location, you're not bothered about yeah, quite, quite restricted sort of areas, then I'm sure your yeah, jobs are there, uh, whether you are a graduate, you are a senior engineer, you are a principal engineer, because uh, I'm searching, yeah, going through all these platforms I mentioned earlier, uh, jobs are there to grab, and uh, I'm sure, yeah, if, if you are relaxed about yeah, your situation, then I'm sure, yeah, there will be an easy chance for me to grab your job there. But uh, in my scenario, I have restricted myself, and uh, that's, that's where I'm struggling but I'll keep you posted for more updates. Uh, but just to give you a more insight, I'm going through the contract sort of phase, uh, but having said that, I have an offer from the permanent position as well from my current employer. Currently, I I'm not considering that, but still that's an option with me. Uh, although I haven't said yes or no with that permanent position, but I'm still looking for a better sort of opportunity. Uh, just to let you know, yeah, the difference between the contract and permanent is in terms of the, um, the risk, that's a huge risk. Obviously, the more there is, the more the money, and that's, that's where I prefer yeah, to go to take more risk and take more money. And that's what I've been doing for the past few years, and uh, I'm happy to take more risk there. Uh, but for, for those uh, who are, who are open-minded, uh, who are not restricted like myself, so I'm sure yeah, the opportunities are around. I will keep posting you for the future updates about my job hunting, uh, and I'm sure that's gonna help you as well, uh, how you go about your job searching, and what the job market look like, and how it improves uh, along, obviously, VR, uh, coming out of the COVID situation now and I'm sure it's going to improve yeah, and uh, move in the right direction in, in the future. Uh, but that's all I wanted to share in this video. I'm still uh, struggling to find my new job and um, as soon as I hear more about yeah, the interviews or, or any progression about my future, I'll keep you posted there. If you like the information, don't forget to press the like and subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين